Florida's Governor Ron DeSantis says the state will sue the CDC, demanding that cruise ships be allowed to get back to sailing. DeSantis said he doesn't think the federal government has the right to keep a major industry shuttered for over a year. The government cited the availability of vaccines. It will be available literally for everyone, regardless of age, regardless of occupation, all that, uh, within a matter of weeks. And so if you're saying under that circumstance that it's you can't let the cruise line shale, sail, then you're basically an anti-vaxxer. I mean, you're saying the vaccines don't work, I guess, because if the vaccines work, then everything needs to be back to normal. Joining us to talk more about the, the reopening, Dr. Scott Gottlieb, former FDA commissioner and a CNBC contributor. He also serves on the boards of Pfizer and Illumina. Scott, it's good to see you. We had uh, Jim Cramer had on the CEO of Wynn, who said, look, if you're going to come into my casino, show me that you got the vax uh, or show me that you've had a test and we'd like to do it every day. I mean, if you do that, it's going to be tough to catch it in that casino, right, Scott? I mean, is that that sounds like a pretty good idea. I've got a, uh, I'm going to laminate my thing. I, my, I got both shots. It says it right there. I'm ready to whip that baby out anytime anyone asks needs to see it. I'm ready. Yeah, look, hopefully there's going to be um, better applications available that you can use to demonstrate that you've been vaccinated. I think that we're going to see those come into the marketplace. Third parties, private companies come in and help you aggregate that data. Um, I've been advising the cruise lines. I've been co-chairing a panel, the Healthy Sail Panel, that came up with a set of recommendations on how the cruise lines can get back into business safely, the kinds of public health measures that they should adopt to try to create a safe environment. And they've committed to, the, and these are uh, two cruise lines in particular, Norwegian Cruise Line, Royal Caribbean, that supported this Healthy Sail, sail Panel that I've co-chaired with uh, former Governor Michael Levitt. Um, they've committed to things like mandatory testing of passengers. Norwegian Cruise Lines came out recently and said that they're going to require vaccination of all their passengers. And so as you start to implement all of these public health recommendations that we've outlined in our report, you start to uh, create an environment that it could be quite safe, where you can create a protective bubble around the experience where you're going to be testing people into the cruise environment. You're going to be requiring everyone to be vaccinated. You're going to be implementing public health measures like distancing. These cruises are not going to operate at full capacity. So you start to look at that kind of an environment, and I believe that you can create a safe bubble around that experience, especially when you're comparing it to other vacation experiences where you can't control the environment. If you're going to Cancun, you can't control what happens on the plane. You can't control what happens in your hotel or, you know, on, on the vacation site. But in a cruise experience, you can actually control the environment quite well. I mean, we, we saw in the height of the pandemic when, uh, uh, when the NBA or, or other... Um, organizations created basically a bubble it, it worked pretty well and and you could kind of replicate that and it, as long as there's still variants or or a background level of of covid it seems like a pretty good idea to create your your to create basically a de facto bubble look and i think it's going to be attractive to some people an environment where you can vacation you know everyone's been tested into the environment you know everyone's been vaccinated or the vast majority of people have been vaccinated that that could be a low risk environment especially in a low prevalence environment and i think what the cruise industry is trying to um you know ascertain and trying to get is a pathway forward is you know sort of an objective set of measures that cdc is willing to accept um, that they're going to recognize creates a safe enough environment in a lower prevalence environment, which is what we're going to have this summertime, that something like that experience can go forward. You know, for a lot of Americans, a cruise is an affordable vacation. I've been on a lot of cruises myself. Um, and for a lot of Americans, I think judging a cruise against other things that you can do with respect to vacationing, certainly vacationing overseas, the cruise experience could look um, like a lower risk endeavor because right. the cruise lines can exert such control over that experience. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.